Welcome to the University of Florida College of Journalism and Communications Spring 2021 Graduation Celebration. Please welcome College of Journalism and Communications Interim Dean, Spiro Kiusis. Members of our distinguished faculty, family members, friends, and most of all, graduating students of the College of Journalism and Communications Class of 2021, Welcome to our Spring 2021 Graduation Celebration Ceremony and congratulations to all of our graduates. We are so proud of our graduates, most of whom are able to participate in this morning's commencement ceremony. This class includes 435 bachelors, 49 masters, and three PhD students. Commencement is a milestone that represents the successful completion of a great deal of hard work. For you, the process has been especially challenging. You have spent almost a year and a half of your academic career in the midst of a global pandemic, which forced everyone to quickly adapt to a remote life in isolation. Your perseverance and dedication during the pandemic and during the deep social unrest that has gripped the nation is a testament to your character and strength. Your efforts have paid off with a degree from one of the nation's top 10 public universities and from one of the most elite journalism and communications programs in the nation. On behalf of the faculty and staff of CJC, to all of you, well done and congratulations. I also want to congratulate and thank all the family members and friends watching this for your support and devotion to all of these graduates. You share this major achievement. And now, some of our college leaders have some words of congratulations for you. Congratulations, masters and doctoral graduates of the College of Journalism and Communications, class of 2021. 2021, that means you worked through a pandemic to complete one of the most challenging accomplishments of your life and one of the most challenging times of all of our lives. All of us at CJC are amazed with your perseverance. We know you're entering the next stages of your lives and careers more prepared and resilient than ever. It feels like we're finally pulling out of this long low point in our history and the future is in your hands and you're totally ready. Congratulations again and go Gators. Congratulations 2021 CJC grads. Although the end of your years at UF were not what you likely had planned, your hard work, perseverance and resilience has paid off. You are now and always will be a part of the Gator Nation. So as you go out into the world, use the Gator Nation and its connections to be the next great copywriter or land the next big advertising account or start the next business that will change our way of life. Best of luck and go Gators. Congratulations to all of our students on graduating from the University of Florida. You're talented, smart, strong, and have made it through this unprecedented time. You may have had some bumps along the way, but know this, we're proud of all that you have accomplished. And no matter where your post-college career takes you, remember that the foundation you built here at CJC will help launch you to wherever you want to go. Congratulations and go Gators. Congratulations, graduates. You did it. What a time we have had. While your senior year didn't look like how we all wanted it to look, I have been extremely proud of how we all came together and got through this challenging time together. Well, PR Gators, this is your day, and we are here to celebrate you. But please keep in touch so we can cheer you on throughout your career. Best wishes and go Gators. Wow, congratulations, everybody. You did it, you have completed your degree, and you are now a graduate of the University of Florida. Just imagine all that you had to do to accomplish that. What you had to face in the last two years is unprecedented. You did it, you were dedicated, you were disciplined, you were motivated, and there's nothing that the world can throw at you that's gonna be any more of a challenge. So again, we wish you well, and congratulations, and go Gators. Thank you all. I would now like to introduce our commencement speaker, Catalina Santana Hernandez. Catalina is a public relations major who defines the words courage, fortitude, and ambition. She overcame life-threatening diseases to realize her dream of coming to the University of Florida, where she has excelled. She was the student assistant for the public relations department and joined the social media committee of the Hispanic Public Relations Student Association and is now president of that organization. In April, she was honored with the Public Relations Department's Charles Wellborn Award for Service and was co-winner of the college's Dean's Cup for Service, one of the highest awards for graduating seniors. I am honored to welcome Catalina as this semester's commencement speaker. Good afternoon to the CJC faculty, 
my fellow students, and our dear family and friends. Class of 2021, we made it. What an honor it is to be able to stand here knowing that our hard work, persistence, and determination has paid off. I know we have laid a solid foundation on which to build our future and to pursue our dreams. For the past four years, Weimar Hall has been our sanctuary. In its rooms, we have been able to grow our confidence and believe in ourselves, to hone our voices into powerful storytellers. But it hasn't always been easy. I know this firsthand. I was born and raised in Bogota, Colombia. I had a happy childhood with my mom and older sister always by my side. But when I was four, I was diagnosed with three autoimmune blood disorders that put me on a strict regimen of strong drugs. As many of you may know, steroids are a miracle drug used for all sorts of illnesses, but they can cause severe side effects. Steroids changed the way I looked. I gained weight and developed acne. My cheeks and feet swelled. I no longer looked like other kids my age. At school, my classmates started to notice and bullied me for my appearance. I would come home, look at myself in the mirror, and cry in frustration. I grew increasingly insecure and wanted to hide from the world to the point that I buried my voice. Then, in my teenage years, my life took another turn, another big turn. When I was 13, my family left Colombia to make a new life in the United States. We settled in Miami, where I had the good fortune to be immersed in diverse Latino cultures. Still, I felt like a guest in someone else's home. I felt like an outsider peering through a lens into other people's worlds. I remember the first time I hung out with friends outside of school. At their homes, their parents and family members spoke to me in Spanish, but I couldn't always understand what they were trying to tell me. We spoke different dialects. I had to constantly ask for clarification. We had different traditions, holidays, and beliefs stemming from our respective cultures and countries of origin or family backgrounds. I always noticed those differences, but I also saw the way we all came together. Everyone wanted something different, but at the end, we all wanted one thing to be heard. Here at the CJC, I learned how to listen to others. It began in Professor Mike Foley's reporting class. In every story I wrote, I tried to celebrate our differences and value each person's experience. I interviewed people from different backgrounds and tried to find out what made them special, what made them them. I was very fortunate to find my home away from home through the Hispanic Population Student Association. I made students who came together through a common heritage, but still recognized that we had different personal stories. As I learned more about those around me, I started to slowly gain my own voice back. I was not sure I wanted to speak today. I felt very vulnerable. People in America have made fun of my accent. It was part of who I am, an outward sign of my heritage. It should be empowering, and yet it made me feel self-conscious. But then I realized that people who have inspired me the most in life are those who are not afraid to raise their voices. I felt compelled to do the same. And so here I am, standing before you, a young woman from Colombia who once felt shy and awkward, who has come a long way in her years at the CJC. I know that like me, all of us have had to overcome challenges, some big, some small. All of us here have set forth on a unique journey, one that is ongoing. All of us have a story. In telling it, don't forget who you are and don't forget the impact we as communicators have on others. The last few months have not been easy for any of us. The pandemic, the racial justice demonstrations, and now a rise in hate targeted at Asian Americans. I remember scanning articles and social media posts with xenophobic narratives and a stereotype view of a whole community. I saw the power of communication can change those narratives and instead connect people and create environments that foster inclusivity. It was tough to finalize our studies during the pandemic. And yet, it has not only brought light to how adaptable and resourceful we all are, but also how communications can implicate the social good, highlighting the roles we can play in impacting our present as well as the years to come. We are America's future journalists, advertisers, public relations practitioners, and telecommunications professionals. The lessons we have gleaned here at the CJC have helped all of us find our voices as communicators. 
we now have a chance to go forth and tell the stories of this great and diverse land. To tell stories that embrace everyone, no matter what color we are or what language we speak. Be proud. Be responsible. Use your platform to elevate others. Never forget who you are. Never lose your voice. Congratulations again, Class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Catalina, for that wonderful message and congratulations. And now, family and friends, is a list of our Class of 2021. Doctor of Philosophy. Master of Arts in Mass Communication. Bachelor of Science in Advertising. Bachelor of Science in Journalism.
Bachelor of Science in Public Relations. Science in Telecommunication. As we close, I want to remind you that you are forever in our CJC family. Please stay in touch and remain involved. And now, let's raise a chomp to your new status as Gators for Life. Go Gators! Now, please take a moment and honor the University of Florida with the singing of our alma mater. Oh! 
This academic year has been one like no other, and the University of Florida College of Journalism and Communications sends congratulations to all graduates and alumni on this special day. Good luck in all of your future endeavors, and remember, in all kinds of weather, we all stick together. Thank you for joining us for the University of Florida College of Journalism and Communications Spring 2021 graduation celebration. Go Gators!